Hey everyone, Ayala Polanski here. Uh, today I'm going to speak to you about how to create a mindset to manifest or attract your life partner, your soulmate. So let's jump right in. Step one is all about the law of belief. And it goes something like this. It's whatever you believe becomes your reality. The great sage, the great Jewish sage, the Baal Shem Tov, he states that where your mind goes, energy flows, or where your thoughts are, that's where you are. So if while I'm speaking to you right now, my mind is really hanging out on the beach in Bora Bora, drinking pina coladas, then technically, according to the Baal Shem Tov, I am actually not here present with you. I am actually sitting on the beach drinking pina coladas. That just goes to show the significance and the power behind our thinking, behind our thoughts, behind our beliefs. So if I go ahead and believe I'm not worthy of being loved, or I'm not worthy of being in a committed relationship, or I don't deserve it, then of course that's not going to become my reality because it means that I'm putting out blocks in the universe that's preventing God, universe, cosmos, call it what you will, from manifesting for you your significant other. So step one is to take a spiritual accounting, to do a spiritual accounting of those internal beliefs that you have about yourself and what you think might be there blocking your significant other from entering into your life right now. Number two is all about breaking free from your past. Our past literally chains us. Why? I'll give you a personal example. When I was eight years old, I had a crush, my very first crush on a boy, and his name was Tommy. And it was during our lunch break where I was on the dance team, he was on the basketball team. And so during lunch, the girls would practice for their upcoming dance recital and the boys would go ahead and practice for their upcoming basketball game. And meanwhile, in my head, because Tommy would look at me in the hallway in between classes, I was convinced that he liked me back. Okay, so we're in lunch period. We're, I'm practicing for the upcoming dance recital. And I see in the corner of my eye, Tommy come from the boy side of the gymnasium to the girl side. And I am convinced he's going to tap me on my shoulder and he's going to say, I yell it. I like you too. Okay, so he does. He comes, he taps me on the shoulder. He looks me in the eyes and he says, Ayelet, I don't like you. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Get that through your thick head. Now, what do you think happened to eight-year-old me? What did I do in that moment? Right? I grabbed my friend, ran straight to the bathroom, and I cried, and I cried, and I cried. And what do you think happened for years to come? You know, when, once I became a teenager and a girl in my early 20s and I was dating, right? What do you think I thought to myself in the bathroom at eight years old that had an effect on my future when it came to dating and manifesting or attracting a partner, right? Of course, I thought I wasn't worthy of being loved. I thought I'm ugly. I'm a bad dancer. Nobody's ever going to love me. Boys stink, right? Like every negative thought that could have possibly run through my head ran through my head. So it took me becoming an adult after one sabotaged relationship after another, after another, it took me becoming an adult for me to finally break free from my past and realize that just because this one boy, Tommy, didn't love me, right? Doesn't mean that every boy on the planet wasn't going to love me, you know? And thank God here I am today in a married, committed relationship. Um, so it just goes to show like once you do the work and you break free from your past, really like the universe becomes open to you and the universe becomes your playground. So break free from all of those past traumatic experiences that has you thinking that you're not worthy of being loved. Step three is the power of visualization. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little secret of how I met my husband. And this doesn't happen every time, but this time it was just like all the pieces were aligned and everything came together to get me to meet my husband in the way that it happened. Um, I was sitting one day with a bunch of my girlfriends over lunch and I said to them, I said, I just know, I feel it in my gut. I'm ready. I've done the work. I've prepared myself. I've removed the blockages. I've, I've done the visualization. I said, I'm going to meet my husband and we're going to be married by the last day of May of this year, right? That was my intention. Now, does it always happen this way? No, but lo and behold, a month later, I met my husband 
and our wedding day was May 29th, right? So what did I do between those words that I uttered to, the, to my girlfriends and between May 29th, which was our wedding day, I spent every single day visualizing for 21 minutes, my life as though my husband was already in it. The power of visualization, I can't stress it enough, is so powerful. All you need to do is spend anywhere between five to 21 minutes. I'm ambitious, I did 21 minutes. With your eyes closed and just visualize your life with your husband, your partner, your wife already in it, as though it's happening today, right now, not in some far off hypothetical future, but right here, right now, that person is in your life. What does your life look like? What does it feel like in as much detail as possible? Those are my three steps. That's six, right? Three steps to manifesting, attracting your life partner. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you don't want your comments to be public, feel free to PM me. I also have a goal of getting 12 people married or in a committed relationship in the next 12 months. So if you're one of those 12 people and you'd like to work with me to get that person in your life sooner than later, go ahead, send me a private message and let's get to talking. Have a good one.